Hello and welcome to Nuremberg and to our Arm Tech Talks live from Embedded World 2024. I'm your host, Tobias McBride, and all week, together with some of our incredible Arm partners, we're bringing you a glimpse at some of the groundbreaking Arm innovations at this show. This Arm Tech Talk series really is the place for you to discover the latest trends, technologies, and best practices from the Arm ecosystem. So welcome, welcome back if you've watched the series before, and thank you so much for joining us. We're live every day, bringing Embedded World to you at home, at work, wherever you are around the world. Our partners are showcasing some of the latest developments on what is the world's most pervasive and efficient compute architecture that 70% of the world's population uses. And that, of course, is ARM. We're going to be highlighting some incredible AI-powered use cases here at Embedded World, showing that the future is built on ARM. And for this tech talk, I'm delighted to be joined by Robert Schweiger, Group Director of Automotive Solutions from Cadence. Robert, welcome. Welcome to Beers. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm excited to be at your booth sure. and we're going to talk all about this demo in just a second. But recently, there was a very exciting announcement you guys made uh, as part of our newest automotive technologies. You talked about a collaboration for a chiplet-based reference design and software development platform for software-defined vehicles, right? It's a big buzzword. Software-defined vehicles has been for a bit of time and it uses our latest ARM IP. Can you talk a bit more about that collaboration, the vision behind that collaboration with ARM a bit more? I'd yes. love to hear your take on it. Yeah, as you just mentioned, there's this trend towards a software-defined vehicle, which represents actually a generational change of the EE architecture of a car. So to all of the OEMs that we have talked to, they shared with us their vision to build a custom chiplet to enable the software-defined vehicle and connect this chiplet via the industry standard UCIE interface to a chiplet reference platform. And so Cadence and ARM have partnered to create um, a suite of different chiplets that form an automated driving platform. And this driving platform is comprised of ARM automotive enhanced cores and Cadence Tensilica DSPs and AI accelerators. And with this platform, you can basically um, jumpstart the development of a software-defined vehicle. That's super exciting, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely. So talking about the software-defined vehicle, we can't really talk about that, we of course, without talking about Sophie, of which you guys are a member, which is great to have you guys a member of Sophie. How does that work that you just talked about, how does that align with this industry initiative of Sophie? Talk a bit more about your work with Sophie and how it aligns with that. Yes, so the Sophie framework basically connects the mixed criticality applications that are running on top of Sophie with the actual hardware platform underneath. And so the, the environment with Sophie can help to validate the, the, the application together with the hardware platform. And so by building um, a virtual platform of the individual chiplets um, allows developer to start early with the software development, even before the silicon is available and test drive the application. Super excited. And that's really important, right? As you say, that virtual prototyping element is so important. And that cloud to edge story that Sophie provides is also really critical here. Now, we're behind us. There's a really interesting demo, which talks all about AI. Yeah. So let's get into a bit more about your work with AI how it and that collaboration between ARM and Cadence. To do that, though, of course, what better way to do that than to show this live and up close and personal rather than on this camera. So to do that, just bear with me one second while I change cameras. There we go. So now let's talk a bit more about this AI demo that you're showing off here and some of the great work you've been doing with ARM, uh, DreamChip and yourselves. Yeah. So as part of a government funded uh, project, so with various partners like BMW, Fraunhofer, Global Foundries and DreamChip, we've developed an SOC that includes basically a dual core ARM Cortex A65 AE, which is the application processor 
It also includes a dual Cortex R52 um, uh, processor cluster for the safety island. And it also includes a Tensilica DSP and a Tensilica AI accelerator for the object um, detection. So what you can see here on this board, underneath this passive cooling device, there's the SOC. And the SOC is a high performance, low power device. And because of that, we don't need active cooling. So here we've got a camera and the camera is basically sending a video stream via the FPD link to the chip. And the camera is uh, pointing to the two cars that are rotating on this platform. And so there is a neural network running on the ARM Tensilica chip that is actually detecting those cars and generating a 3D bounding box around the cars, which shows, okay, object detected. So that's basically the, the hardware part of the demo. And of course, we have also a dream chip. Our partner has um, developed a board for this chip. The chip, by the way, was um, done in 22 nanometer FTX by Global Foundries, also important to mention. And in addition, um, Dreamchip has also created a virtual platform. And the virtual platform enabled the team, and in particular BMW, to do an early software development of this AI algorithm for object detection before the silicon was available. Which is awesome, as yeah. you say, right? And so great it's a pretty cool demo. Um, for a government-funded project with real silicon. It's great to see how you're running AI with ARM, with, Tensor, with Cadence IP, with Tensilica today. And as you say, that, that virtual prototype element is so critical, both to this monolithic approach, but also to that chiplet-based design as we look ahead. So really great demo. Thank you for showing yes, that off. Yes. Let's go back to the main camera then yeah. and talk a bit more about your work with ARM, because yeah. I'd love to talk a bit more about it. So, Obviously, as I say, really great demo. How does, and, if, and the ARM technology inside, that's super interesting, and it's great to see that collaboration going forward. How does being an ARM partner, which we're honored for you to be an ARM partner of ours, how does it align with your vision at Cadence of the future of automotive and yeah. where you see it going? So there is obviously a lot of uh, momentum right now around chiplet-based design but there's no chiplet ecosystem. So our goal is really by working together with ARM to enable this chiplet ecosystem. And also by providing virtual platforms, we wanna really speed up the software development and shorten the time to market. Absolutely. And our goal is with this reference platform that a lot of our customers adopting this reference platform and use it as a jump start to add their own custom chiplets and create their own design and hitting the market earlier. That's really exciting. So, you know, is there anything else you'd like to add in terms of where you see the future of automotive development going with Cadence, with ARM, with our ecosystem? Where do you see that going? So the so we talked about the software-defined vehicles. So all the functions are defined by software. So we need a, actually an environment that allows the OEMs to develop those functions and, um, and port it seamlessly on their target hardware platform. So the future is really software driven and we want to ensure to have this environment, this hardware platform, this SOFI framework that allows customers a smooth development of these functions and even much faster than before. And the virtual platforms I mentioned before, Cadence has a, a tool suite for virtual prototyping called uh, Helium Virtual Studio. And so this platform, this virtual platform will be implemented in Helium and can be provided to customers and it is already available today for early access. That's awesome. But as we speak, um, the development will continue and the platform will evolve. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for that. And if people want to come and see Cadence's booth, you're in uh, Hall 4. 
So do come and check that out. There's some really great demos, many more in addition to this one that we haven't had time to go through. Um, but really excited to have you today, Robert. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to add to the audience today before we wrap up? Well, we are super excited with, with our partnership with ARM and, and looking forward um, about the next things that will happen. Yeah. Very excited. We're really yeah. excited to be in the future with you. Yes. So thank you so much, Robert. Thanks, that can, yes. No, thank you. Thank you. And that yeah. concludes another ARM Tech Talk from Embedded World here in Nuremberg. And as I said, we're live every day discovering all of the latest and greatest innovations at the show based on ARM. So subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss any of those. We've got some really exciting ones coming up. Robert, thank you so much again. Absolute pleasure to host Thanks. you today. And the whole Cadence team, thank you so much. And audience, we'll see you again tomorrow morning and throughout the rest of the week for our next ARM Tech Talk as we continue to discover how the future of AI and the future as a whole really is being built on ARM here at Embedded World in Nuremberg in 2024. See you soon, folks.